everyone, I just wanted to add in a quick clip here at the beginning to explain where exactly Sombrio Beach is and also to just give you some quick tips based on my experience of camping there twice. So this is taking place last summer when I was living in Victoria, BC with my friend Sarah and I think this video will give you a really good taste of what camping in Sombrio can be like because the first weekend we went it was like perfect weather, blue skies, and then the second weekend we went which was only like in the span of maybe two weeks, it was the complete opposite. It was extremely foggy and misty. So you just have to be prepared to expect various degrees of weather when you're going. It might not always be blue skies. So anyway, with that being said, I'll include a screenshot of our drive up to Sombrio Beach. It's roughly about a two hour drive from Victoria, but with all the pit stops that I included on the map, it's gonna say about a two and a half hour drive. And that's because we stopped at places like Souk Potholes, which is a really cool place to go swimming at, uh, Botanical Beach, which has some really cool Thai pools, and then Port Renfrew, which has some cool restaurants that you can get dinner at too if you don't feel like making dinner on the beach on Sombrio, but that is also an option. And a few of the tips I would give would just include be prepared to carry your camping supplies down a little bit. So there is a parking lot that you drive to for Sombrio Beach, but there is still about a five minute walk down. So the very first time that Sarah and I went camping there, we didn't realize that there was a walk at all. We thought that you literally just carry your stuff right to your campsite and the beach is just right there. That is not true. We ended up taking a cooler and it was such a hassle carrying it up and down the hill because it is straight down. So the next day when we had to carry it up, uh, definitely sucked, so I would not recommend. And then number two, just be aware that this is not just a camping beach, it is along a day hiking trail. So there's gonna be a combination of people that are just camping there for the night and then people that, that'll, that are multi-day hiking. So there's gonna be a good mix. And number three, there is a really cool waterfall that is located right at the end of the beach. So you have to walk um, a bit further than you would expect, but you'll notice it and you'll see videos of it in here as well, so you can't miss it. And I think that's about it. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video. And if you happen to have any questions, feel free to leave them below in the comments.
So we're walking to Botanical Beach. Gonna go check out the tide pools. The tide pools. Hopefully we see woke up at 520. 520 a.m. around. Woke up at 520 a.m. Got some lots of coffee. Had some pancakes. They told us to bring our bear spray, so we've got it. We got our bear it's spray. We have our hiking, hiking boots. boots on. This is my first time wearing them too. I had to cut the tag and everything this morning. So also you have to keep in mind the tide. So we're here really early because the lowest tide is at 8.15. Okay, so we're already here. Yeah, don't touch it. That looks sick. Oh yeah, I think you're right. So I think we go down. Sarah in the tree. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs>